Okay, what we're going to do is, is we're going to uh, change the door check on a 2005 Honda Accord. Um, it's been broken for a while and I can't stand the fact that this door keeps slamming back into me when you get out of the car. It's an extremely straightforward process. Gonna remove that one nut and these two nuts and that's it. However, to get to it, you're going to have to remove the front door panel. And it's an extremely easy process. Um, as you can see, the panel has to come out and then up. So we're going to have to remove this first. And then there's always screws that are holding the panel in. And generally, you always find one behind here. This one has a panel that's concealing it. You see that small opening? You put a normal screwdriver into it, a small screwdriver into it, pry it open. There's going to be definitely a screw or a bolt in here. And then... Uh, there's always one underneath here. So, because all doors, when you pull on this door to open and close, there's gotta be something that physically ties it back to the frame, otherwise this door handle will always come off. So in general, on most cars, you have two or three bolts. Uh, one always here, one generally in here, and there may be others uh, in, in, in the vehicle. Um, so just do a quick check online to do that. So we're going to remove these two bolts and then what we're going to do is, is you, we're going to use a couple of these uh, uh, tools. Uh, these are plastic tools that we will pry into. Get this zoomed in. There we go. Pry into the, to the back side of our door panel and get it loose. Once we've got that loose, we generally gently keep pulling on the door till all the pin, pins are out on the bottom and then you work your way up the side on both sides and by that, by that by that time this door should be free and should then pop upwards and once you've done that uh, basically remove the plastic cover behind it it's held in by this putty glue st style and uh, that's about it so let me uh, get this one popped off again this is going to be popped off by pulling on this uh, and removing it let me get these screws done and um, I'll show you a shot of when I've got the corner popped open so here's a picture of what this pin looks like that was holding this in this is a picture of what's behind the door handle two screws and the one screw down there. So one other thing that can be done at this point is to remove this so that you can unhook the uh, the wire connectors behind here and then there's a light connector that's going to be behind here as well. Um, we're not going to go through that trouble. If you do want to take that off, you basically start prying this bezel uh, off from this corner and then work your way up. That'll shoot, that should pop that up and then you should be able to get in and remove the uh, these switches will come along with it and then you can unhook the wires but we have uh, we have this part basically you're gonna slide this upwards and that's it so now uh, what's here is there is a um, for the lever there's a cable here and we're going to reach in underneath and pull those uh, plugs on the uh, on the door power window and power locks by hand. So we're just going to quickly undo. I'm going to quickly undo this and pull this out. Basically what ends up happening is there is a opening on the back side of this clip and you just want to force this clip you want to force this plastic clip this way 
and then this metal pin will come out once that metal pin comes out the metal pin will then just pop out of this hole upwards okay so I have been able to push this pin off just basically use the screwdriver to push the top away that comes out now you can see these clips we're gonna pull these clips we're gonna go ahead and pull these clips out can you bring it here over so basically there's a small clip in here we're gonna push that in and then pull this out similarly there's one on this side giving me a little bit of trouble let me get into a better position so I could not get that one switch out so I went ahead and basically we'll start prying this switch out right here so I can get a better access so I'm going to put this door back up on top and let it rest generally it should have come out just like that other switch did some reason this one does not want to come out and now with this I can get this thing off okay so basically I was able to push this in hold it in with a plier use a screwdriver and pry on this and pretty much came out so um, generally it's not that hard. So you don't have to remove this piece uh, in order to uh, unplug it. You should be able to unplug it from behind the door. So I'm gonna quickly now go to the next step here because this is only supposed to take five minutes to do. 10 minutes actually. All right, so down here we've got this light post that comes out. Go ahead and pop out this clip, basically, and our door is free. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back. And all you need to do is basically pull this plastic around this. Oh, sorry, pull this plastic around that. And then, using two hands, we want to get to the back side of this thing. We're just going to go ahead and slowly peel this away. This is good enough, just so that I have access to this thing right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these uh, bolts undone and then we'll go from there. So while the uh, part is coming off, this is what the new one looks like. It's going to go on like this. This is the, uh, the part number for a 2005 Accord. So here's what you can see, the new versus the old. This is the old. All of this stuff is broken off. So the plastic came off and so there was no resistance at all in here and that's why this door kept on slamming into me. Uh, it would not stay open. So uh, this new part is now going to be slid in through the opening. Go ahead. That's it. You get those two... two uh, screws to stick out. We're going to go ahead and install those two screws in first and then we're going to close the door until we can get this screw, this bolt in and then uh, we're done. And then we're just going to start putting everything back together again. Okay so our door is back on. It basically stays open as it should. Now we're just going to go ahead and reconnect this cable and then we're going to go ahead 
and reinstall this one and then we should be uh, then then once we've done that then we're going to go ahead and slide the frame back on top in the order that we took it off push it back down once you've done that just simply nudge it nudge the uh, the door for, and the um, the inside panel back into its spot once that's done then we're going to go ahead and connect these and uh, put the screws in and then we're done. One thing I want to point out is, is once you've got this thing plugged back in, before you snap it back in place, test it out. Make sure these connections are made in properly. So we're in the process of putting back together. Basically we're going to snap this in, in place, literally just like that. And we're done here. Now we're just going to go ahead and start putting this, these two screws and that piece. Piece here basically. I think we're gonna can't do this one handedly. And that's it for that piece. We're gonna go ahead and put the screws back in and then we're done. I hope that this video was helpful in uh, demonstrating on how to check it, remove uh, the door check or at least remove the panel for whatever reason you need to remove the uh, passenger or any door panel uh, on your Accord. Keep in mind, basically, screws always here, screws always here, whether it's from the top or whether it's from the bottom, wherever, but there are screws that hold this place together. And then there may be a screw or two, depending on what car you may have. Um, always pop this open, just in case there's a screw in here that's holding this thing together. Always pop that thing off, just in case. And then you're pretty much good to go and pull it. Otherwise, you can do a quick research online and you're going to find all the information that you need. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope this uh, helped you out. Take care.